from my point of view, Saul Bellow, Nobel laureate, is the voice of America during such an important and tumultuous period in history. I mean, from the publication of Dangling Man in 1944 to his last novel, Ravelstein, published in 2000, Saul Bellow has really been the voice of, of America. I would go so far as to say the voice of an American conscience going through a number of difficult periods in American history. Um, beginning really with the immediate aftermath of World War II. And I think what we see in, in Bellow's oeuvre, from his short stories to his personal accounts, his essays, and of course his novels, an emerging voice of the American intellectual. He's also a voice of the rising American Jewish writer. And Bello, of course, along with Philip Roth and Bernard Malamud, made a place for a Jewish writer, made a place for an emerging, changing American Jewish voice. And I also think that American literature today, whether it's American literature in general or American Jewish literature, would not be what it is were it not for a writer like Saul Bellow, who gave license to generations of writers who have followed him. License to create a, a telling voice that is self-parodic, that is critical, that is ironic, that gets at, as one of Bellow's characters will say, the essence of things. Bello, I think, tries to, to get at the landscape of American culture from the end of World War II into the new millennium. And I think that in this regard, he, he focuses on the whole question of culture, how we define culture. What does it mean to have a kind of American culture in the making. To that end, I think that Bellow confronts the great themes. He confronts war. He confronts what it means to be a thinking human being in the second half of the 20th century. A thinking human being who must contend with all the ideologies and the fraught conditions of this period of time. I think that for Bello, what is really at the heart of literature is the necessity for human beings not to deceive themselves, but also at the same time the great challenge that, uh, that that is. I think for, for Bello, the candid assessment of the value of human life is at the heart of all of his literature. What it means to be decent, what it means to be compassionate, and what it means to think through not only the ideas that one is bombarded with, but also one's long entrenched assumptions about the world and his or her place in it. I think ba that Bellow is one of the most honest writers of the century. Well, I think Bellow was crucial to an emerging American Jewish voice. And I think that he broke from the immigrant voice, the struggling immigrant voice of, say, someone like Henry Roth, or Abraham Kahn, or Anzia Yazirska, writers who, in, in, in writing in America as Jews, were constantly on the margins, anxious about their, their place in America. Not only what does it mean to be a Jew in America, but what, what is lost and what is gained. For someone like Bellow, 
the son of immigrants, that that Jewish experience was as as his very famous character Augie March made very clear in the beginning of, of that novel, a celebration that America is the great landscape. America is, in fact, the carnival of the streets. America is a place where, where people on the margins can, of course, rise, can make a voice for themselves. And Bellow is not only, in, in making a Jewish voice, this ironic voice of self-assessment, a voice that carries with it the weight of history, the weight very specifically of Jewish history. Bellow also makes a place for a new American voice, an American voice that can embrace otherness, an American voice that can return to Europe, an American voice that can forge and pioneer a new America, an America that is open to Jews, an America that, that recognizes in that Jewish voice a critical assessment of its own making. I think Bellow challenges us. I think Bellow challenges the reader to think about hard subjects, to think about the reader's own ethical relation to the process of reading, ethical relation to the world in which one lives. Reading Bellow is not easy. It's, a, it's contemplative, it's dense, it's prose that undoes itself even as it unfolds and engages the reader. It's, it's prose that asks the reader to think about the relation of history and philosophy and ethics in that Jewish voice.